Guys, be somebody. Don't be a nobody. Ayoko na tama na, pwede ba? Sige na, ayoko na tama na, pwede ba? Sige na, ayoko na tama na, pwede ba? Sige na, ayoko na. We're here at the M. Luiler. Um, we're gonna send, uh, my wife's gonna send some money to her nephews in Laguna, San Pedro, Laguna. You know, for Christmas. That's fine, you know. And these nephews that she has, they're not in a very good uh, situation because they are, they grew up in like a, I don't know, broken family situation, if you will. So, I'm, 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 I'm always encouraging them to do the best that they can in school, especially next year, 2017. Uh, supposedly all state universities and colleges will be uh, free tuition so the only thing the student is going to be responsible for basically are just the miscellaneous uh, you know things like uh, paper pen and backpack uniform so uh, technically there should be no uh, excuse Starting 2017, not to be able to uh, get a college education, especially those that you know that couldn't afford it before. Oh, pretty! Uh, probably could afford it now because it's tuition free. So, guys, if you guys know anyone here in the Philippines, you know that claim to be down and out or is down and out, poor, and an education is not feasible. Well, starting 2017, just in case you guys didn't know, or not up to breast with the uh, uh, local news here in the Philippines, all state colleges and universities will be free, tuition free. So it was signed into the new uh, budget by the Derke for 2017. And uh, I think that's a damn good thing. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's probably not going to be free for middle class and up that can't afford it. I mean, it's probably more for the indigent, uh, the, the, the poor. Let's put it that way. So, which is, it's, 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 it's a very, very good thing. I think it's a very good thing. Because uh, even in America, there's no such thing as a free, free education. I mean, even if you work for a company that will pay for your uh, education or tuition, it's just a portion. So, it's rare, it's very rare that they pay 100% of it. So, I would take advantage of that opportunity. I really will. I, I really would. I mean, again, at this point, really, guys, all the poor people of the Philippines, you know, um, this is this is your this is the chance, your chance to get out of the rut, whatever rut you're in, and and, and get an education. I really, really encourage that, and I think it's a very good thing. So take advantage of that. Um, if you guys know anyone here, so that's the same thing I was telling uh, my wife's. Uh, nephews because they've, they've grown close to me and I sympathize with their situation and I tell them right now you don't you know you're not going to understand what I'm trying to tell you guys because you guys are still young I told them earlier this morning but there, there's going to come a day I guarantee that you will sit and say to yourself damn I should have gotten a, a college education you know not very much things are guaranteed in life, but I can pretty much guarantee that there will come the day that if they don't get their college education, there's going to come a day that they're going to kick themselves in the butt. And it was for free as far as tuition, okay? And uh, anyways, so we're here setting a little bit of funds over their way. And uh, I, I hope, I really hope that uh, those boys back in there in Laguna uh, come around and, may, and really make something of themselves. Because I tell them all the time, guys, be somebody. Don't be a nobody. You know, so hopefully the things I tell them has some sort of impact and, and it's getting through to them. That's the only thing I could hope for. We'll see, right? Other than that, I, I just, 
I just want them to get out of the rut that they're in right now. You know, they live in a house, you know, maybe no bigger than the size, the size of, I don't know, a bathroom, you know, uh, compared to Western standards, right? And they're lucky to, to eat twice a day or three times a day. I mean, I don't want to over-exaggerate. I mean, they're not that, that, that terribly. I mean, they're not doing that terrible, I mean. But yeah, I mean, I wish them the best because they're nice kids. They're good kids. They're just uh, dealt, dealt a different set of, set of, of cards, I mean, if you guys know what I mean, right? Anyhow, this is Romulo Highway. <laughs> You keep going straight, that's coming in. So. Oh, Bobby. Looks like a scorcher out there, huh, guys? Pretty quiet day today. Getting ready for uh, Christmas Eve festivities tomorrow. I am too. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna take a break from drinking today. So, we're gonna see what's here. This is called the Sun Plaza something. Sun Plaza Mini. Quick stop. So this is the inside of the Sun Plaza. It's three floors. Well, lower floor is parking. Second floor is supermarket. She booked time. I got a new toy again. They're gonna call out. You have a new toy, they're gonna make call out again. Nice people over there. It's freaking hot in this place. They're only using fans. No aircon. No, that's just torture. It's like torture, huh? It's like torture in here. Dude. Whoever works here eight hours or more a day, I don't know how they, do it, they can do it. It's freaking nice. It's freaking, it's freaking like a... What's this? Sweatshop? Yeah, but you can get that. Yeah, what do you think? What is that now? Yeah, like, for another five months or not so that long. How much is that? 68. I don't know. I'll give you the money for this one. Okay, the yakin niya eh. Dali, babaltang ko, malaktang. Alright, time to open another register. Buying some items for Pansit. And probably go to the Palenque afterwards. They have nothing over here. I don't know, we'll see. Where is that? Let my wife get up by herself. Anyway, I need some of those. I wonder if they just give it to me. Those for soundproofing. Oh yeah, great. Of course he wants to park backwards. Of course he does. I gotta recuperate today. Too much drinking past the past couple of days. I wanna eat something, but I don't know what. 
What do you got over here? Some squid balls. Some fish. Some good fish. Some good fish would probably be good right now. Yeah, a lot of lousy drivers in the PI. Alright, we get to go home and relax, chill, thank goodness. <laughs> Tired. Bicol Express, uh, Palaya, and uh, uh, Pike Pasilbo, Sinibuan. Bicol Express. Ilang order? Ay, adobo. I got money. Ilang order nga? Two, two. Dalawa? Yeah, for tonight. We carry din sila. We carry na sa bahay. Two, two. Sige, two, two. Tapos ikot na. Pala the rest. Palaya? Ha? For tonight. Ay, lutoy mo pa rin yung kohol. Okay. Vehicle Express. Let's see what the Vehicle Express tastes like. So these are all the Jokey bars. <laughs> There's a couple of Vidyoki bars right in there. In there. And they're all Kubo inside the Kubo. I guess this is like uh, the nightlife. This is where the nightlife of the province is here. This area along the street here. A lot of kubos here with biryoki bars. Oh, here's your and beer house. Okay, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Malana, yan ang last. Tapos malamig pa han. Papa naman yung interest. The interest. Baka panis na. Toko mucho. One of the best uh, local candy bars here. Cookies and cream. You guys gotta try this. Cheap. Seven pesos each, you so usually I buy a whole box of twelve, less than a hundred. So cheap. Onion rings. This whole thing, seventeen pesos. Uncle doing something. Uncle's crazy. On the table, on the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, don't put your face right in there. So this is gonna be our dinner, guys. Kohol, that's nails. So what the missus is doing is putting a hole at the end of it, so of each of the shells, so that uh, it's easier to access or to suck out the contents. It's gonna be cooked in coconut milk. And Malunga leaves. Very tedious. See, you have to, she has to do it one by one all of these. Wow. I wish there was like a machine that did that. Well, guys, we are home now. Um, we'll close out the vlog here for today. It's only about what time is that? Three? Three at? Four? I don't know. Three o'clock. It's only three o'clock in. Uh, I think we're done for today. What we need to do, we bought. What we need to buy for tomorrow's shin game. And the rest of the day is just chilling. I'm just gonna watch some TV. Pick up my shoes, relax. Oh crap, I still need to fill that drum with water. Anyway, I'm gonna close it out here, guys, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.